The other question is the, the you know why do car makers use different kinds of cell setups? What we see here in this is a picture um, schematic that shows cylindrical cell. This is a prismatic cell, and this is a pouch cell. Cylindrical cells are used by companies like Tesla, whereas the pouch cells are used by companies like Chevy. GM uses in the Chevy Bolt and Volt. This is a series of um, um, pouch cells. They, they are stacked um, one on top of each other to get the right kind of capacity. So there are re pros and cons to each, and uh, the, but the the needle favors in uh, the needle moves in favor of cylindrical cell because the cost per kilowatt hour per cylindrical cell is still way uh, you know favorable than pouch or prismatic cells. You can also see pouch cells in some of these electronic equipments, you know, phones and other places. Uh, but uh, I'm sure, you know, there are still some car makers like Nissan Leaf, uh, Chevy Volt, even some, uh, you know, Volkswagen or Audi could be using pouch cell design. But uh, Tesla is still ahead of the game because they were able to engineer the pack, the BMS, the cooling, the the chemistry, and of course the cost, you know, the the, the the reason why, there are three reasons. There are three reasons why cylindrical cells are still favored. One is cost. Cost per kilowatt hour is still cheaper. The second is the metallic jacket that you have around the 18650 gives it uh, gives some structural rigidity. And then it can be used as a scaffolding. So the, the, the material, the floor of the Model S can still Take the take the load and have give it certain kind of integrity that pouch cells are unable to. Pouch cells are big compared to the cylindrical cells. They have a flat surface that doesn't provide you with any kind of structural support. And there is another reason why cylindrical cells are favored. That is, you have seven thousand plus cells in in a Tesla Model S, all right. And if you want to use your Tesla Model S in, in ludicrous mode, uh, you want to go 0 to 16, 2.8 seconds, 2.9 seconds, then you're flooring, you know, flooring the pedal and there's something called battery warm up and that, so the battery is getting ready for that kind of usage. But in, in such high power draw situations, the load is distributed over 7,000 cells. Whereas if you floor the pedal, you know, gas pedal on or the, the you know, accelerator on the volt, it is distributed over a few hundred pouch cells, maybe 300, 400. Whereas in the test light is distributed over 7,000 cells. So as a result, you know, that yields to certain longevity of the battery. You're not stressing the cells too much and you can supercharge your Tesla, even though Tesla recommends not supercharging your car every day, but let's say if someone were to supercharge, only supercharge the car, it is still less than 1C or close to 1C. Less than 1C is not going to degrade your chemistry. But if you're going to you know, supercharge a Chevy Volt or some other chemistry, uh, then, you know, for example, you mentioned Porsche at 300 kilowatt hour. I mean, I'm not sure what kind of liquid cooling they have. If they don't have a sophisticated liquid cooling, then such high power draw could degrade the chemistry faster. So that's why Tesla is still using the cylindrical cells, but there are other configurations available and they are bigger in size and they are not, um, they're cost, you know, ineffective compared to cylindrical cells. This, so, this, this was quite surprising to me that, that you were, you're saying that the cylindrical cells are less expensive to produce because every company right now every automaker that has a a pending ev coming out is using the pouch style cells with the exception of rivian rivian is the only one that i know of at, at the moment that is is going with the 18650 cylindrical cells which i believe they're getting them from from lg chem right so right. so so if if those cylindrical cells are, are less expensive why are companies do you think using the pouch style cells that's a really good question. You know, um, that could be 
to be honest, I don't know the reason why you know they picked LG Chem. I know uh, many other companies use it, but you know GM. If you look at it uh, recently, I think uh, uh, Monroe Associates in Detroit did a teardown of uh, Model S and BMW i3 and uh, one other car. Um, they 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 figured they found that the Chevy Bolt is basically they took the Spark or some other platform and then they put instead of the engine they put the motor they put you know they they didn't have to build it from the ground up whereas the model 3 is built from the ground up so they they may have a contract with lg chem because they have you know they supplied the batteries for chevy volt before pre previous to the bolt so there could be a multitude of reasons but from all my re analysis you know and and cylindrical cells is a very established way of making the 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 industry has been dialed down so nicely that you know the cost has come down significantly. Uh, maybe the cost is pretty close to 18650. It may not be lesser than 18650, but maybe it is pretty close. Maybe because they have a contract. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. But uh, uh, all the research suggests that uh, 18650 still have an upper hand when it comes to price. Yeah. Otherwise, Tesla wouldn't use it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's really fascinating. I mean, to to me, it appears like um, the cylindrical cells are are have have better redundancy. So if one cylindrical cell goes bad, um, it doesn't impact the entire pack or the modules. So you're 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 ensuring the the safety and longevity of the battery pack with the cylindrical cells. The the other thing that that it appears like is you can draw power from cylindrical cells better than the pouch style cells as well as manage the the temperature of of the the the, the pack through cylindrical cells uh far better than than pouch style that is correct that is correct you know um the the imagine one cell or maybe five cells individual cells go bad in a pack of 7000 that's still not you know less than one person, less than 0.5 person. But if you have 300 uh, pouches and then five of them go bad, it's already more than two percent or one percent uh, defect. So I may, I mean, you know, that could render a whole module a malfunction, you know, uh, and render them ineffective in a pack. So may, maybe they have an engineering solution for that, but it is wise to distribute it over a larger number of cells. And as I said, you know, um, it also gives structural integrity because of the metallic jacket. Um, it, it gives you certain strength to the floor. Uh, so that's one of the reasons. And more importantly, you know, you can customize the shape. The pouch cells are big. They take a certain, you know, if you look at the Chevy Volt, it can, there is a big hump running from the front and to the back of the car because the pouch cells take up that space. And I think there is a reason why Chevy Volt doesn't have a, Five seater. It's only a four seater because the shape of the battery takes up so much space that they, they couldn't put the fifth seat. Whereas the small uh, dimensions of 18650 makes it easier to shape it in any way you want it.